Um, those who know me well know that perhaps my favourite quote is from St. Augustine's Confessions, where he says, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. C.S. Lewis in Mere Christianity writes, If I find my, in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I'm made for another world. And these quotes represent one of the lines of evidence for the, the existence of souls. It's an evidence from desires beyond the five senses. Um, and our souls long to be satisfied in something that this world cannot supply. In John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress, Christian and faithful are set upon in Vanity Fair because they refuse to indulge themselves in the fair, knowing that their hearts are set upon the celestial city. In Psalm 40. Two, one and two we read as the deer longs for the streams of water so i long for you O god i thirst for god the living god and may that be our hearts cry this day our souls longing will only be truly satisfied in god himself we're thirsty until he is the one who refreshes us um in verses three and four, the psalmist continues, day and night, I have only tears for my food, while my enemies continually taught me, saying, where is this God of yours? My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walk among the crowds of worshippers, leading that great procession to the house of God, singing for joy, giving thanks amidst the, the sound of a great celebration. And friends, that can be our experience too. We can remember those peak experiences in our, our lives, uh, the New Day Conference, the One Event or So Survivor. For me, it was often Grapevine event um, put on by ground level. Uh, we remember being among those crowds of worshippers. And yet now we can feel isolated, alone or far from God. And perhaps with the psalmist, we cry day and night. I have only tears for food. And this season might be a hard season for you. This season might be a difficult season for you. Yet God is with us. As Paul says in Acts 17, 27, 28, he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. God is not distant. We live and move and have our being in him right now. As A.W. Tozer says in The Pursuit of God, we need never shout across the space is to an absent God. He's nearer than our own soul, closer than our most secret thoughts. And in verse five, the psalmist continues, why am I discouraged why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my saviour and my God. Friends, when we're discouraged, we must put our hope in God. We must choose to praise him again. And this is an active choice of the will as we choose to lift up our hearts and our minds to the source of all light, that he may satisfy our restless hearts.